I am sick and tired of my videos being ruined by excessive wind noise. I'm putting a stop to it now. This video may be able to help you as well. <laughs> How was that for my serious and mean look? Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully it'll help you. Alright guys, welcome to my, back to my channel here on YouTube, uh, Just D here with Just D Outdoors. Today is going to be kind of a part three uh, with my series here on my wind problem I have when I'm filming outdoors. Uh, so I've got my new small rig and I'll go into uh, detail here at the end and show you where I got this rig from. I bought it from a guy named Matt off of YouTube and I'll show you the link and everything to his website and stuff. Uh, but I've got my Canon uh, G7X Mark III. Right now, this is the normal audio for it, and I hope you can hear me okay. I'm close enough, I think, but I'd have nothing on. It's just the camera filming that the audio is in auto mode. I'm in my usual place here. The wind is blowing, so I'm going to spin around here. It's not howling like it was uh, on the second part of the video series, uh, but it's still pretty windy today. This is typical for here, and uh, kind of let you see what it sounds like if you're doing outside, doing your... 360 I haven't got some different sunshades there going on and I'm not looking at my screen on my Canon I've got it flipped down it's easier for me to look into the camera and not look at the screen when I have it down and I've got my Canon 70D back there filming the whole operation I'm not using the Nikon P900 today because this is the camera I'm probably going to be using the most so again this is the Canon 7 uh, G7X Mark III uh, with the audio set in auto uh, and no filter on top of the holes and uh, nothing else plugged in. Now as you can see in the Canon footage uh, from the 70D, it's in the background there, you can see that I've got the Rode Wireless Go uh, already on that cold shoe, uh, but it is not plugged in yet and so I'm fixing to turn that on and let you hear and see what that sounds like. So I'm going to leave the cameras running while I do that. I've already got the uh, original dead cat on the uh, microphone and I've got the replacements coming from Rode. So I'm going to turn this on, make sure it's on. And that's powering up. And I'm going to go ahead and clip it right there. I'm going to plug in the microphone. I'm going to turn this camera away from me while I get to the menu settings. Okay, real world. I've got to stop the camera while I do that and go from the auto settings and the audio uh, to manual. So let me do that real quick. I'm going to stop recording on the G7X Mark III and uh, I'll leave the 70D running and I will turn the uh, audio to manual. Alright, so I should be uh, recording now with the G7X Mark III and the Wireless Go from Rode. Again, I've got the microphone here with the original dead cat on it. And same location, spinning around and you can see the difference hopefully or hear the difference in my audio. God, here's the wind is blowing. Again, it's not as fast as it was the other day when I ruined my camera, my G7X Mark II. Uh, but it's still a typical windy day for most locations outside that you can never expect which way the wind's coming from. And uh, right now the wind's hitting me in the face. So hopefully the uh, audio is much better with the Rode Wireless Go plugged into the cold shoe and then to the port for the wireless uh, microphone, no matter what you're using, whether you're using a lavalier or whatever, this G7X Mark III has got the port to plug in an external microphone. Uh, so it's very convenient. 
and I can really feel the wind hit me in the back here and uh, so this should be a good example and I will do a follow-up on this shortly uh, with a night light that I've got on here now uh, to show you what it will be filming like for night which is very common also for us hunters uh, to be using a camera like this and be about seven to ten feet away uh, in low light conditions so I'll do that later this evening hope the wind will still be blowing and uh, I'll just leave that as part of the same video. Uh, so for now, this is it in the daylight time with the wind, me doing the spin around 360 stuff, which is typical for vloggers and people doing selfies. All right, I wanted to show you the uh, small rig that I purchased, and uh, I'm absolutely loving it. Uh, while watching YouTube videos on the Canon G7X Mark III and its autofocus issues, I came across Matthew Galat. Uh, Matt, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. He says he's a YouTuber and traveler. Uh, he did a great video on the autofocus issues, but in that video he talked about a small rig that he helped design with the company Small Rig, and he provided a link down below in his comments section. Well, I followed the comments there, followed the link. It took me to the website for Small Rig. It's $24.90 plus shipping. Uh, coming from China, made it to Texas in about 10 or 12 days without any issues whatsoever. No instructions required. It's just the uh, piece of metal for the rig itself, a mount screw that's included, and the Allen wrench is included. Anybody can mount it, and it goes on very easily and very professionally. It comes with two cold shoe mounts. Uh, the other one I see advertised on the internet, on Amazon and eBay, only has one cold shoe mount. This one's also got eight optional screw holes in the bottom for mounting accessories and tripods, give you lots of choices. It's got two more of those holes in the side as well, so a lot of options for this little rig. And then uh, you can still open your trap door to get to your battery and your SD card, which is very convenient uh, when you're using this thing to get to your stuff uh, without having to remove it. Uh, here it is with my Rode Wireless Go mounted on the bottom uh, cold shoe. Uh, I'll show you a picture with a light that I'm using, and that'll be in uh, part three of this video series. But the light with the Rode Wireless Go mounted to it, there's the back shot of it. And I'll show you the uh, entire setup sitting on a little mini tripod. Uh, so it's a very nice rig, well worth every penny of it. Matthew, thank you for uh, helping Small Rig design it and point it out to us in your videos. And uh, I hope other people go to it and check out your videos and stuff. And I hope this video is helpful for you guys. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.